Hi, Macy here. I'm going to start a series about iOS Unity plugin. During this series, I'm going to show you how to make a radar pop-up on iOS device. There are three episodes in this series. The first episode is going to cover how to call iOS native function from Unity. The second episode is how to call Unity functions from native iOS code. The third episode is just going to cover about the build and save information in the play press. Let me give you an overview of the project. First, we need to have Unity call a native functions in iOS, which triggers a pop-up. When the user chooses an option on the pop-up, it will send Unity a message with the variables from native iOS code to Unity. We will save the information on PlayPress to keep it as a reference. I just started with a fresh new project in Unity. In order to save our plugins in the assets folder, we need to create a new folder called plugins. And in the plugin folders, right click, create folder, let's call it iOS. This way, whenever we are making an iOS build, any code that's included in this folder will be passed and moved on with us to the Xcode project. Let's open Xcode. Click File, choose New File, Objective C class, and click Next. I will just call it uh, iOS Bridge. Next. Save it to where you put your project. So let me go to find where I saved my Unity project. And then Access Folder, Plugins, and iOS. And just create it here. We need to change the extension of .m to .mm. .mm. So on the iOS part, in the Xcode, we just need to create a function that actually create a UI alert view, takes dynamic strings that create the pop-up with three options, yes, later, no. So let's start it, like extern, C, capital C. Here, let's call the function add notification. Zero consistent char. So we'll first get a title. Body, it's a message. Let's bridge next line. And uh, the cancel label. The first label, the second label. So here we just need to have UI alert view. Equal the other view A L L O C. So here we'll have a net with title. So here we give us all the cohen. Just need to start with square bracket and S as string. We should convert a chart into string, so it will be string with U, F, so here is a code hit, so that's it, and then here we just put uh, the title, Let's give us a code hit already, message is going to be the body, delicate is no for now, cancel label is cancel label, first label, 
and then second label. So we actually need to convert them all. Let's just do that. Everything looks like going well because of the code here. And this was semicolon. At the end, we just need to say alert show. And it was semicolon. That's it. That is our iOS function. Now we are back at Unity. We need to create a class in Unity that bridges the Xcode with the C sharp in Unity. I've just created a new folder it's called script. Let's create a new C sharp script. Let's call it iOS bridge. So in the iOS bridge class, we can just remove the extension of the Mono behavior and remove the store and update function. Then import using system dot runtime dot interlope services this class just allow us to use external functions and then we just need to declare the external functions just do a square bracket it's capital D L L import and brackets and then just inside the quotes just do two underscore internal so here it's going to save. Then we just paste the function we just copied from the Objective C code. Then we can just type private static extern void and uh, replace those declaration with string so it's not consistent chart anymore they are actually all strings in C sharp and then close it in with semicolon let's make it just look a little bit better like that. Now, so we need to create a function to call in C sharp. Then we actually can just copy exactly what it is here. Just create a public function. It's not external anymore. It is add notifications. That's all it does. Then pretty much when we call this add notification functions from the iOS bridge, it will just gonna call this. Let's remove it. So here the bridge is done. Now let's create a button in Unity that triggers the notifications let's create a script just call it manager for now in the build setting just click file build setting we need to switch that to ios which will change the settings and all the lock of the unity let's close it and let's synchronize the project the if gui button new ref so we need to actually give it like a, a width so it will take so we start with the left so it will start at one third of the screen and uh, well same thing as the height so left top and height one third of the screen and the width and height gonna be one third of the screen as well so we can just copy and paste it 
take you to the next line. So here, and then just call the text say click. So if this button is being pressed, you can just call iOS bridge dot add notification and the title will say rate we'll put string so rate us the body is any message you want enjoy our game and the cancel label is you can usually say later so you ask them next time and the first one will be yes for sure the second label can say no I do not want to vote and here it's going to show the let's close the st statement so here it's just going to going to show you notifications on the iOS device however we need to add one more because it doesn't work all the time so it only works on iOS device so we just say if Unity iOS. That's why we switched the platform. That then now this hint is showing. It should be end if. Cool. Everything works. And let's test it out in the Unity. We just need to attach the script. Or we can just attach it to the camera. Then when it is starting to running, we will see the button. So it's here. When you click, you will call the function. Here it just says an arrow because. It's just not available on this platform. In the build setting, and click the player setting, which needs to change the bundle to any names you want. This just needs to be something unique, then that will totally fine. In Unity, we can make an emulator builds. However, it doesn't work with our example. So you have to make sure you're testing this on a device. Assume you have all the provisioning profile that has been set up. I'm just using a testing profile, which doesn't require me to set or assign everything. And just click build and run. I usually just save it as uh, iOS. Just give it a name. And just save. And you will go through all the building processes and turn on the Xcode. Let's see how it goes. When the first tutorial is completed, on your iPad or iPhone, you will just see an app like this. Just press the button. You will see a radar pop up. If you see this, then congratulations. You succeeded at the stage one. I hope you enjoyed the first episode. All the code you can find from the Unity Asset Store at the link down below. And have a great day. Please subscribe. Bye.